Uh, afternoon everybody we're doing a review today of one of our blank firing guns and just really a run around not much of a review actually what is a blank firing gun um, they've been popping up around south africa quite regularly recently um, for good reason um, so a blank firing gun is an athletic starter gun a flare gun and a movie gun prop if you want to call it that these are replicas of firearms made to look like real firearms for the purposes I've just mentioned as well. Um, they have various applications, blank firing guns, uh, other than the ones I've mentioned. Other applications would be to teach or train people the runaround of the use of a firearm. Um, how a firearm looks, sounds, feels, shoots without the risk of injuring someone at a shooting range. Um, those are amongst other applications. Um, to load it uh, in any blank firing gun, irrespective of the brand name on it, you have a magazine that's similar looking to a firearm as well. You'd insert your cartridge, a blank cartridge, into your magazine. There are numerous shot count uh, blank guns around that use different quantities of cartridges inside the magazine. Um, this video is obviously just to train you, uh, teach you, uh, and give you info about the runaround of the use of a blank firing gun or the application and also just give you some detail regarding the laws within South Africa regarding the use of a firearm or an intended or something that would look like a firearm or replicate a firearm and to touch on that whether it be a BB gun, a blank firing gun, the law would still prosecute you if you were to use this with the intention of it being used as a firearm. Therefore, it's not a toy to be played around with, pointed recklessly at other people. So this is not a toy. Um, it can be seen as a firearm. You could end up being killed by pointing this at someone that might have a real firearm, such as the police security companies and so forth though so don't use this or use it in an intended crime because you will be prosecuted under the firearms control act even though it this is not a firearm the ammunition or cartridges we are authorized to sell this to you although some might not believe it um, we are an authorized a uh, dealer by the south african explosives division and we also run a register for the police on behalf of the police, which we fill in with your details in. So the ammunition does require us to keep record of the sales thereof. That's why we can't sell ammunition on the website because the public unfortunately don't send their details through to us. We require that on black and white and those are the rules and regulations set out by the South African Police Explosives Division. There are people out there that are claiming that you do need a license. It is not true at this stage. They might try and change those laws or rules at a later stage. Okay, so just a general run around. It's operation similar to a real firearm. The weight, the feel, dimensions, the operation, a slight cock back. You do not pull the gangster move, okay? <laughs> Just handle it with safety and caution. It cannot kill someone. It cannot hurt someone. It cannot maim someone at all. It is safe. Uh, it can't hurt anybody. Uh, it's just a scare off method. The Firearms Control Act also states that you should minimal, use minimal force. A firearm is not minimal force. This is not a firearm, it is minimal force. Install your magazine this way. Rack or cock the slide. I don't like using that word too often. Release the slide. It does have a safety system over here. You can also release your hammer to make it safe or carry it what we refer to cocked and locked in the firearms industry. Um, I'm going to just decock the gun. There it's decocked. If I drop the hammer now, the gun would have fired. And let's walk out here. I'll just do one shot so you can see the system cycle. 
I'm gonna pull the hammer back and as you can see it's a semi-automatic the slide cycle the cartridge has now put a new cartridge into the gun there's one ground left I loaded three here this is the next live cartridge and the spent cartridge has been ejected out replicating a firearm where the cartridges eject thank you um, we've also had a few cases where people try and modify this um, the, the law also states if you modify something to, to into being a firearm you will be prosecuted under the firearms control act 25 years with your friends in a cell um, if you want to join them you're welcome try to do that um, these guns are made out of an alloy there's not steel like a firearm the alloy is made to self-destruct should you try and change the powder charge in here to higher pressures it's all about pressure a firearm generates very high pressure in a chamber this doesn't have a chamber by the way like a firearm this cartridge generates very low pressure the cartridge is also available in a pepper round which is a red tip and that will then blow pepper gases from the barrel and the pepper gases can be used to deter animals so just getting back to that don't tamper with the barrel on this blank gun because you will affect the cycling of it and then you would claim that the product was not working although you've tampered with its operation do not attempt to modify these guns or blank guns in any way whatsoever yeah so to load your magazine with blank cartridges as can be seen here simply slide them into your magazine we've got three rounds of blank cartridges blank cartridges a blank firing gun not a firearm insert the mag and the blank cartridge into the chamber and there you go cartridges are ejected the slide remains in the open position when the magazine is empty the gun hasn't broken um, you can release the slide forward by pushing the slide release down and decocking the hammer basically we're gonna go shoot inside we're gonna wear these I'm definitely gonna put them in my ears um, so we can show you how this looks when you shoot at night so we're gonna go into a dark space and we're gonna have three blanks going off at once let's go have a look how it sounds well we're putting on earplugs so we don't hear that much but let's go see how it looks at at night uh, by the way these are the fired uh, cartridges that we shot out earlier here we go so let's go check it out it's a We've got earplugs in and we're just going to demonstrate that a blank gun is not lethal whatsoever. This is an A4 page um, and then we just wrap the slide. One cartridge in and this is the page. The pressure blew it out of my hand but it's not even, it's got a very small tear over here. And as you can see, there's no damage to the page, apart from the fact that the pressure blew it out of my hand. So it's a non-lethal gun. Yes, so we're just going to turn the light off so that you can see what um, it does in darkness. Ready, steady, 